Hey guys, well it's time to start a new series of videos that I've been planning on doing and that is talk about what games that I've played recently or beat recently over the course of the month. So for the month of February, this is what I played. Now this isn't everything I played. Um, I'm going to leave Call of Duty out of it because I'm, I'm going to play Call of Duty all the time. Uh, right now in case you're curious, I am playing Black Ops 3 but uh, to be honest, Call of Duty, everybody plays it and yeah, it's... Uh, it's not really a game I'm trying to beat. I'm just playing the multiplayer online and zombies and stuff like that. But um, anyway, uh, so I'm going to leave Call of Duty out of it. But as you guys know, uh, in recent videos, I just recently hooked up my PlayStation 2 Slim back up. And I've been playing some old PS2 games, so I've been reliving my heyday, I guess. Um, so the first game I played and uh, defeated once again was Star Wars Episode 3, The Revenge of the Sith. Um, not a bad game overall. Um, it holds up pretty well from what I remember. In fact, there was some parts of this game I completely forgot about. But um, it's a great game. I enjoyed playing it again and beating it. I actually forgot how hard this game can be at some times. So uh, there are a few rounds I had to go from uh, some of the boss battles. I had to switch from normal to easy because I just, no matter how much, how hard I tried, I kept on dying. So uh, there were a few parts of this game that I had to switch from uh, normal to easy. I wouldn't dare try to play this game on hard. I don't think I'd ever. I, I think I'd be so frustrated I would never be able to beat it. Although I used, I need to get back into that. When I was younger, me and my friends would always do that. We'd play like uh, either easy mode, then do normal, and then do hard. We'd do that for like the God of War games because they would have like easy, normal, hard, and then they would have like um, uh, I think it was like extra hard, then uh, God mode or something like that. Either way, yeah. Um, now, as you guys know, if you watched my What Movies I Watched Recently uh, this past month video, um, I recently watched, uh, rewatched the Lord of the Rings movies. So I've been meaning to go and play some Lord of the Rings games. I've had my collection for years. So I did check out the first Lord of the Rings game, The Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, overall, I thought this game was so so. I didn't really like it. Um, I believe this game actually came up before the films. It is based off the book, but um, it does not have any of the actors um, that portrayed any of the characters in the film, nor do the characters in the game actually look like the characters in the book, with the, I mean, within the movie, with the exception of, I mean, they all represent the characters and they all look like the characters, but not the actors that played the characters and how they looked in all of the Rings films. Um, plus, I thought, that the, I thought the controls overall were pretty bad, too, so I, uh, I played this for like an hour and then I just got sick of it, so I stop playing it. However, when I played The Two Towers, big, big difference. Um, I can definitely tell right off the bat that um, this game definitely came out, obviously it came out when the films came out, but also, um, even though it's uh, called The Two Towers, it actually does start off with The Fellowship, so this is actually their version of The Fellowship along with The Two Towers. I do have Return of the King as well, uh, which I'm looking forward to playing. So far I'm a few hours into it. And so far, I really like it, so I'm definitely, uh, in fact, I'm kind of kicking myself. I've literally had this game for probably at least 10 years, almost, probably around 10 years now. Literally been sitting on the shelf for 10 years, never played it, and now I'm finally around to it, so. But this is something I'm kind of looking forward to. This is the part of the collecting part I like, is, you know, you have this game, or, well, outside of this game, I'll talk about game. You buy a game, it sits on the shelf for years, you finally, you know, um, take it off the shelf, put it in the player, and play it and you're just like wow this is a great game why have I played this before but just knowing it's in your collection and knowing you have some gems that you've been wanting to play for a long time or been waiting to play um, it's kind of exciting it makes you wonder you know what other games that I have in my collection that I should be playing and I haven't played yet so but uh, still awesome heads in the collection yeah it's just a, this is definitely a uh, this has been the GameStop game craze EB game yeah in fact this is an old EB games so, yeah, I bought this a long time ago. I was in middle school when I bought this, so it was a long time ago. But I uh, had it in my collection for years, and I'm happy to finally played it. I also decided to go back and revisit King Kong. Um, you guys can actually watch my entire walkthrough of this on YouTube, actually, from back in 2011. Uh, if you go under my playlist, just type in uh, King Kong, and it'll be right there. So you can actually watch me play the entire King Kong um, game. 
Uh, I've played this game multiple times throughout the years. This is actually one of the few PS2 games I actually bought brand new back in the day. And because um, most of the time I always bought games used. Um, in fact, I still to this day. I, I, you know, with the exception of Call of Duty and Halo, most of the time I'll buy a game used. Um, but uh, actually, the first actually Halo 5, uh, Halo 1 for the PC and Halo 5 for um, Xbox One were the only two Halo games I ever bought brand new. Um, although uh, Halo 5 was the first Halo I ever bought on release date, so. Um, but uh, for the most part, I actually uh, I do wait and buy games later on used, or just wait till they go on sale. But this is the only PS2 game that I played over and over and over. I've, I've at least beat this game at least five or six times now. So, actually, probably even more than that. Probably around eight or ten now, actually. But uh, I really enjoyed it. It looks really good on my HGTV for what it is. I do have the remastered edition on Xbox 360. Uh, so, eventually, I'll definitely have to check out that um, version of it. But uh, overall, I'm very happy playing this game again. It was neat playing with the surround sound on in my room. Um, and uh, it looked pretty good through the, in fact all these games look pretty good through the um, HDMI converter so uh, obviously PS2 is about as good as it's ever going to look but uh, at least what I'm seeing is uh, everything is supposed to be there so um, and it was cool so uh, I haven't really beat it yet, I'm about mm, a little past the halfway mark I would say um, but uh, I do plan to beat it eventually again but it's not really that big of a deal if I do or don't because like I said I have beat this game multiple times and I'd rather focus on a game I haven't beat yet. So, like uh, Lord of the Rings would be a little bit more um, uh, priority to beat because I never beat it before. So, but uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my first video of this series. I plan to do each one at the end of the month. Uh, so it's come something new to add to the channel, and why not? So, okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and until the next one, see you guys later. Bye.